it is recorded. Okay. Okay, Miss Jasmine. Yes. Who I did it? not want this is Aria. Hi, did, how are you? <laughs> I'm okay. Um, <laughs> so I've been in business for about three months now. The first month was kind of um sketchy, but the sec the second month we was kind of doing okay, but now you know we're doing steady. Okay. Um, I still have faith in this, um, but it's just the cleaners. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I've had to get rid of four. Okay. I mean, and right now I'm out on ground myself because I just can't have anyone. Everybody can't clean. Right. And true. um, I've been losing like a lot of money having to repay clients. Um, giving refunds. Okay. I mean, I did what you told me to do, but that ain't working. These people are angry. Um, they want their money back, and I'm not gaining. So, what does your? So, do you currently have any cleaners right now? I only have one right now. Okay. So, what does your hiring process look like? So, for the hiring process, I mean. They don't make it to the next initial step. I mean, oh, they want a job. Oh, yes, ma'am, I'm ready. But like when you get into the part where it's um, time to send a background check, then that's where most of the majority of the problem come in. They have something on their background and I cannot put them in no one's home and they have stuff on the background. Okay. So... Okay, so you do run the background check. So it's not like a, so you do have um, like a hiring process. So it's not just interview and like green light. Right, yes ma'am. Okay, now how often are you hiring? Well, um, I haven't been doing any hiring lately. Um, okay. Because the funds are kind of low. I mean, I did Craigslist and that's it so have you done the facebook marketplace or facebook groups I've, I've been marketing in facebook groups but no one is like budging in okay I've so been, but not necessarily the marketing not like where you're actually posting but yeah. looking for cleaners response to other people looking for services okay when you say like uh facebook marketing i i was aware that Facebook is about to shut down um, jobs, like posting job job ads. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you, because I know what area you're servicing and there are cleaners out there. Let me- yes, see. Yeah. Thank you so much for the help, because, oh. Because like, so you have to remember, and everybody, please remember that, you know, you it's, I can totally understand to where like, you know, you'll start getting comfortable because you feel like, okay, I have four to five cleaners. I'm good. You know, like I, I'm, 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 I'm good. Right. I, I'm, we're going, we got jobs. Everybody has a job right now here and there. Right. You're working on trying to get the jobs consistently for each person. They're trying to get them multiple jobs for each person. But remember, like you can never, ever get like, you can never get lackadaisical with hiring. That is literally a process that has to be done on a very continual basis. As in like, you need to have an activity, um, some sort of hiring activity um, at least once a week to where you are trying to continually look for cleaners because you just never know. You just never know if somebody has to drop out or if somebody's not available, their car, they get sick you know, you have to fire them. Like you just never know. So you want to always make sure that you are continually hiring because the, even the hiring process is a number game. Um, you know, you, you, you may reach out to 25 people and only five people respond. Only two people pass that's willing to take the background check and one, you know, and then one person qualifies, right? It's, it's literally all the number game but you have to keep the same efforts weekly so that way you have continual cleaners, right? Even if, even, and I know like 
you'll be like in this anxious position. You know, you may feel like an anxious position where like you have, you feel like you have too many cleaners and they're not having jobs and they're calling and texting and wondering like, hey, you have anything for me this week or do you have anything coming up, right? But you just let them know, stay in communication. Like, you know, we're, we're, we are, uh, we are, you know, working on every marketing opportunity to get jobs in as soon as possible. And as soon as we have something, we will let you know. Okay. Let me see. I'm trying to pull up a Facebook group. Um, let's see. Uh, okay so one group that i type of groups that i love is like looking for like community groups or like mom groups or both like frisco like like community mom groups okay um let's see Okay, maximize this. Is anybody else having any similar scenarios with cleaners or clean, uh, looking for cleaners? Okay, so this, can you, everybody see my screen? Yes. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is Frisco, mom, mom of Frisco's, right? So I know that she's currently servicing north of Dallas. I'm in located in north of Dallas. So that's why I'm familiar with the area. Um, but I, I just go and I find local groups. I find garage sale groups, mom groups, um, business mom groups, um, um, like like different suburban, not suburban, like, uh, what's that called? Like subdivisions, you know, like when you go like, oh, golden hobbles, right? Like it'll be called that. Those different areas will have like their own Facebook group. So I just come in the search and I'll just like type up maid or I'll type up like house cleaning. Let's see, looking for a dependable maid service once a month, square foot is 3,200 square feet. And I'll come look in the comments and I mean, and just see what I see. Let's see. Now, I, I really don't see one in here because I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually looking for. So I'm not really looking for people that's recommending like real companies. I'm looking for somebody that is responding to that post and saying like, oh me, I can help you. I'll send you a DM. Let's see, would love a recommendation for a house for a cleaning lady or team. Let's see, this one has 15 comments. And when you do it this way, it's free. You're not having to pay for Indeed. Also looking, scrubs. Where's all the comments? They said they had 15. Let's see. All comments. They must have been referring people outside the group. Oh, there they are. Um, Okay, with the permission of sharing her name, her name. Okay, so now look, of course, I don't see anybody responding, but like this person right here, she said she gets permission from this lady. So I would be calling her, Miss Yolanda, okay? Uh, let's see, if we can find another one. So I wait, but like you kind of get the gist of it though, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me see if I can find one more. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm looking for a good maid, maid service. 
And of course, you guys, this is also where you can come and uh, market your services as well. Here we go, right here. Family that clean together. We would love to help. So I would reach out to Miss Stacy. I would, I would like, and then I would send a reply. And I, I'm not. I would reply to her this post, and I'd be like, "Hey, I'm also looking for a service. Can I send you a DM?" Right. And the only reason why I'm doing this because I mean, this this post is 35 weeks old, right? Um, and then I would still send them a DM. But I'm also hoping that other individual cleaners will see this and then message me as well. Let's see. Any other comments? But that that's that is what that process looks like. And uh, oh, right here, boom! Give me a call or text. So this is a solo cleaner person. So I would be calling and texting her right here. Okay. And the, the best part I love about this is that she she looks like she understands. So like she's gonna have the equipment, she's gonna have the supplies, and hopefully, I'm thinking that she'll have the insurance. Here to go another one. Give me a call or a text. Cleaning for, for perfection, okay? I would be calling and reaching out to him. I mean, reaching out to her, okay? Cleaning for, that's a company, Miami Beach company. Like I'm reaching, I'm looking for people that saying like, hey, me, I can help you. I'll send you a DM, okay? Um, another place is like actually going to the marketplace on your... Let me see. Um, can I get to that from here? Oh yeah. So I'm to Facebook Marketplace, and you guys can all do this within your area. Okay. Okay. It's going kind of slow. Uh. And then the same thing, like when I'm looking on here, I'm only trying to look for, I'm only trying to look for, okay, well, that's, <laughs> let's see. Okay, <laughs> this is better. So um, I'm looking for people that look like they're individual house cleaners and not like real company companies because real companies will advertise their services on here. But as we can see, like this looks like a solo person. This looks like a solo person, solo person. So I would be reaching out to all of these, all of these potential cleaners as well. Like I used to be on... Um, what is it on um uh indeed right and then like during the pandemic the pandemic kind of just just shifted that 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 normal hiring process that i used to have so this was my go to and this is how i found most of my cleaners and i mean i found really amazing cleaners this way but you just have to make sure that you are looking for cleaners on a very continual basis like never, never stopping, always be hiring, like have that phrase in your mind, always be hiring. So when you do select um, a solo cleaner, what, how do you approach them? You just go in, dive in or yep. how do you approach them? Now, of course, on the Facebook marketplace, um, on the Facebook marketplace, I normally just respond with like their, um, like pre, um, like already made out message that you like, you know, basically says like, are you still available? And then, then they will respond, right? And then from there, I, I give my same strip. Like, hey, my name is Jasmine. And I own a small cleaning company here in Dallas and I'm looking to partner with reliable independent contractors. Just wondering if you have, um, if, you, if you're accepting or have any time to accept any new clients. Um, and then that's kind of like my bait. And then, they'll respond or they won't respond or, you know, they'll try to get some more feedback. And then that's when I kind of just give, um, start gathering some information from them. And, and, and I try to make it super 
informal but formal without like saying the words interview because I want to make sure that I respect them as a cleaning business owner whether I think they're they're running it like they should or not um so that's why I use the words partner and then instead of me saying I would would you like to do an interview I was like I would love to chat with you right I'm still asking my interview questions um and then if I have if I'm sending them an actual like interview form I'd be like can I send you like this questionnaire form to see like if you have everything that we're looking for to partner with and but I I, I approach them the same way and that's in the training in part two on how to find your cleaners your script which you did yeah mm -hmm. I mean like I just 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 now started using back indeed I think we had a done for you client that like they got it and like it, it was been working pretty well but i'm telling you like the facebook marketplace and the facebook groups i mean i normally that's like my golden spot and it's free <laughs> and it's free we have a client that spent 444 dollars on indeed last month and I think he only found three cleaners. Now, of course, if those cleaners stick and do well, he's gonna definitely make his money back, but he spent $444. Hey, Jasmine, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I'm kind of going through the same issue of trying to find cleaners. Okay. I'm, over here. I'm in Toronto, um, so I use mostly just use a Facebook marketplace, okay. you know, Facebook groups. But what happens when you find like a solo cleaner? Do you just pair up two solo cleaners together? Because my package is like two cleaners for three hours. So what I do is pair them up together or should I just do one cleaner for like six hours instead? So with that pricing like scale, I'm not too familiar with that like pricing strategy because I've only always just priced like a flat rate price. Um, and I and I also only try to send out single cleaners too. Um, so I don't I don't really have I've never really done like the team up. And if I did, I normally like to have them paired up already, like where they come in as like a mom and daughter duo or you know, uncle and aunt duo type of situation. Um, so out there are people accustomed to two like two teams two people to a team like is that the norm no there's no norm it's just just a wonder what's best if okay. if i should just leave one person by themselves so, you know i mean i feel like because like what are you what are you, are you paying them hourly or a percentage no as a percentage Matt, what's the percentage if you don't mind me asking well mine mine is about 30 between 30 and 35 percent down the package Okay, so that's what you pay the cleaners? No, that's what I take. Um, yeah. Okay, so the cleaners get 70%. Yeah, about around I that. Guess they would get 35% each yeah, if they yeah. have to split it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like I said, I like sending out one cleaner. I only send out two cleaners if it's a larger home. So like if it's a house, and I'm kind of frozen, but I'm, I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, but I normally send out one cleaner until it gets to another house size. So anything above like 3,500 square feet, that's when I'm sending another cleaner out with them. Um, because I feel like one cleaner can get the job done within a good, reasonable time. Uh, what's, what's that time frame usually for one cleaner under 3,500 square feet? Mm, four hours four and a half hours maybe four four and a half hours i mean that's what my cleaners are doing but like i guess that also depends on the level of experience your cleaners have um but i try to make sure that my cleaners are very sufficient in time management of and and like them getting the job done and then also like my cleaners love just to rather do the house by themselves because they hate when they get paired up with somebody that doesn't do the house or does the cleaning fast, fast enough or on the same pace as them or as well as them because then they feel like they're having to go behind them. Right, exactly. That's, that's kind of what we've seen. <laughs> yeah. So like I, 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 I've had more trouble sending 
teams out than solo. So I always try to keep it just solo. And then I try to stay away from big houses as well. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, have you looked into doing a flat rate price pointing, price point? No, it's, it's a flat rate, but usually I, I, I offer the clients about 20 for an hour. So it's, it's the, from the customer side, yeah, they get a flat rate for around three, three and a half hours. But when you break it down, the cleaner is getting around 22, 24 an hour. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, because sometimes, like I said, sometimes whenever I tell a cleaner that like they have a specific time to get something done in, um, like the time is just milked. Because if, if if I give them a time frame of a house that could be done clean faster, you know, they just they're just more eager to get the house done to do a second job when it's not an hourly type of time frame. Um, then just like, you know, hey, you're gonna get, you know, a hundred dollars for this house because based upon the size and the type of cleaning that they want. Okay, got you. Uh yeah, that, that probably helped me better to present the offer to the cleaners as a flat rate as opposed to uh, hourly. Yeah. Yeah, just, I would say just maybe to do some research and other cleaning companies in your area and maybe see like maybe what that would kind of look like for your business. Yeah, yeah, that's actually where I got the idea from. They were um charging per hour. They're okay. doing hourly rates, you know, so. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, as, there's a lot of companies that charge hourly rates. I just find that flat rate just by the size of the home, by the type of cleaning just works so much easier. But like I said, you know, you have to do what's best for your company. And if that option best flows the best with your cleaners and your clients, then definitely stick with it. Okay, so this flat rate, is this just based on square footage or just also based on like number of bedrooms, uh, kitchen yes. white zones, stuff like that? Yeah, so normally I, I have it set to based upon the size of the home, so the square footage, how many bedrooms and bathrooms, and then the type of cleaning. This, this Having the square footage is kind of like my catch-all because when they're on the site booking the service, it'll ask how many bedrooms, but they may only count the rooms with beds in it and not necessarily like office or a gym or a dressing room. Um, and then based upon the type of cleaning. So if it's a, a standard cleaning, move in and move out cleaning or a deep cleaning. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? Hi, Jasmine. I actually had a question. Yes. Hi, so my question was that, um, so I'm planning to launch on Saturday. I've been able to onboard two cleaners so far. But I guess I'm thinking more about um, who I'm trying to target. Okay. Um, so I was wondering if you had any experience maybe partnering with like partner um, property managers, maybe people who have several different units, or do you mostly target moms or stay at home moms? Or if you could just speak on like the different types of people who buy cleaning services in general. Yes. Yeah. It's so funny. I literally just did a video, a YouTube video yesterday on the property management. Um, so, you know, you definitely want to check out, see like what area, like the, like the demographics in the areas that you're near, like what kind of, what's the difference in like the different suburban areas or like uptown, downtown. Um, Cause that'll kind of help you with your marketing. Um, and then it'll know like what kind of uh, like your ideal client or avatar that they would call it like in marketing um, because you, you can have, your busy mom professionals, you can have your stay at home mom professionals, right? But I love to have it based upon like income levels because there are some busy mom professionals where their income levels may not be to where they would treat a home cleaning as like a top priority versus or a luxury, like this is a must have luxury that I, I will have versus like, you know, uh, an extra, like okay, if I have extra, I'll get this, right? Um, so I really base mine off of the income first, um, like um, income, 
and household household income and house price. Those are my like two variables that I look at and then I kind of narrow down. So I love like the busy families, stay at home moms where like the mom is not really a stay at home mom, but you know, she she's not like that typical cleaning, cooking, you know, soccer mom type of stay at home mom. Like she's out with the girls, but she's not working. Like I, that is, I've noticed like that is my market. And then also the complete opposite to where like I have two busy professionals where the mom and dad are both in the workforce and, you know, they have the, the kids and the nanny situation. So like those are like my two big markets that I service in the area um, and like North Dallas like areas. But in all actuality, any and everybody really will get their house clean. Like you will see a lot of different patterns of people in the beginning until like you narrow down an area. Um, I That's normally what I like to gain for more so. Um, but if you're trying to do like the property management, that's an awesome, awesome um, vertical service to market to partner with. Um, real estate agents, real estate brokers, property management companies. Um, because like I was saying in the video is like with the real estate agent, right? If you partner with the real estate agent, there are so many ways to where you can maximize um, your profit from one of their clients, right? Because when you have a real estate agent, they need to get a cleaning to for the showing of the house, right? When they're getting ready to sell the house, they have to get showings. And if the house doesn't sell fast, they normally get touch-up cleanings um, each time there is a showing because that family is still living in that house, right? So you have multiple opportunities to do that. And then also when the help, when the house sells, they need to have a move out cleaning, right? So that is another cleaning service that you can get off of one client. And then you get to do, uh, then you try to get to do their move in cleaning into their next property, right? Um, and that's like, you know, three different ways, right? So you make sure that your cleaning team does an amazing job for each of those services. And then you tack on your last and try to get them to become a reoccurring client. So that's why I really love partnering with like real estate agents and real estate brokers because they need all of those things, right? And if you, if you provide a really good service, they will call you back over and over again because they know that in order to sell this house, they need to have a clean, nice, presentable house, right? Um, property management companies are a little different because you're not necessarily providing a direct service to the client, but almost you're kind of becoming a vendor to the actual property management company and, and all the properties that they service. So if somebody is moving out of a house that they manage and the owner is like, okay, we need to get another renter in. So then that house needs to have a move out cleaning, right? Um, it may have a showing depending on like, the scale of the house, um, but most times it's just going to need a good move out cleaning, right? Um, and it's kind of like, almost kind of like what um, what was talked about in that apartment cleaning because you're, you're becoming a vendor for them to do and take care of all of the move out cleanings for that property management company. Um, and then sometimes I always will like either leave a card um, like a table tent card in that home, um, like hoping that like the real estate agent doesn't toss it away. <laughs> but if they don't, it'll read like, hey, my name is Jasmine. I work with, you know, we we work with such and such and we just provided this clean, uh, you know, clean house for you. Please, if you're wanting to get your home clean by us again, reach, reach back. I would love to give you 20% off, right? Or I will put it in their mailbox um, or I will mail it to them later and you know, give some kind of verbiage like that to where like they know that you are the one that provided the cleaning for them and that they just moved into this house and it's completely sparkling clean. And it just increases the chance of them wanting to choose you because you know the house and you they can see your work. Um, what was the other one you said? Real estate, yeah. So those are really, really good vertical companies to partner with, even moving companies. Moving companies are really good as well because we tend to do a lot of moving and move out cleanings, especially in the summer and springtime. Um, and moving companies, right? That's all they do all day long. They move people in and out, right? 
So partnering with them to be able to provide a service to their clients, um, you'll have access to possibly do a move-in cleaning and a move-out cleaning. And like how you partner with them, can you can talk with them and see like what will be best fit. For real estate agents and brokers, you can either like offer them a percentage off on your services if they choose you, or you can, um, they can give you like a referral, a, like a referral fee on top of like new clients that they bring you. Um, and like the vendors, the property management companies, that's the only thing like it may vary. The property management team, like they may either have a set price of how much they're willing to pay or they'll ask you for your price, okay? Um, and then same thing with the moving company. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It looks like a Kenya's board is being shared here. Oh, I don't know oh. I'm sorry, I meant to raise my hand. So I'm gonna oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> okay. Um, so um, or like with the moving companies, you can find out their fees and then you can put like an up fee, uh, upcharge on it. So if they're like, okay, hey, if you you know offer our services to your customers, then you know, we'll give you a flat rate of hundred dollars to move within you know X amount of space. And then you can put an upcharge on it. So you can, so when you're selling it to somebody else, you can sell it for like 150. You know what I'm saying? So how you partner with them on the financial side um, could just be something that you guys discuss. Okay, thank you. That's pretty helpful. And I guess I just had one more question. Do you, yeah. I know we have a vetting process for new cleaners, but do you ever send out maybe like a test clean for new people just to see how they do or- is the protocol yeah. to just send them in to see? Okay. I mean, you can totally do a test clean. Um, you can do a test clean um, like with family or friends or like with a client that you've had for a really long time um, or you can even do your own home. So you can totally do a test clean. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.